What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Times Gaming, and we are back with another LEGO City Undercover Special Assignment. That's right, this is number 11. They all scream for ice cream! If you're looking for it on your map, it's going to be labeled Vinny Papalardo's Ice Cream Shop. And if this isn't the longest title of a LEGO City Undercover Special Assignment 11, they all scream for ice cream, Vinny Papalardo's Ice Cream Free Play! God, that's a long name. But uh, hey, as you just heard me holler out, free play, we actually are going to grab all of the collectibles. Now, keep in mind that one of the character tokens was actually part of the story mode. You cannot miss it, so we're actually going to show you where it is, just in case somehow, uh, you, I don't know, maybe you didn't build them up or something, but I'm pretty sure it's unmissable. But we're going to go ahead and turn on some red bricks. In fact, we got quite a bit now. We got 14 of those bad boys. I don't think we turn on all 14. I think we turn on like 10 or so. But uh, hey, make sure you got Rex. That's right. We're going to have to. Uh, look, look, I took the long way to check out the map, too. But, uh, yeah, you're going to need a strong character, and Rex is a good one. We show you how to find him and how much he is and all that in our Preparing for Free Play video. You can see there we do have that one character token. And uh, make sure you change disguises if you haven't already. We'll go ahead and load in. They all scream for ice cream. And, hey, if you're not familiar with our quick links, we have a bunch of links down below in the video description that will help you get to all of those collectibles a lot quicker. Now, look at that. We've got that Attract Studs red brick on, grabbing all those studs and pulling them in towards us as we knock out the first of three items for that Police Shield piece number one. So, yeah, there's these three large and in charge ice cream sundaes that we got to bust open. And one of them's right there in the far right corner as soon as you spawn. The next one's actually in the back left corner. You can see it right under the Papa Lardo's sign there. In fact, we got a kind of a, almost a close look at like that. And the third one is actually up above behind that uh, cabinet. We'll get to that in just a second. We got a couple of baddies we got to take care of, so get our cha-cha on and take him down. And we're going to roll up over to the ice chest over here where we got two more baddies that we got to toss around. That's right. We're going to go ahead and grapple this sign down, which reveals Papa Lardo, and he falls and breaks into many pieces, which this is the unmissable character token. I almost said vehicle token that uh, we don't believe you can miss. You have to build him back up. And uh, I guess, you know, you could walk by him without grabbing him. I, I suppose that's possible. But uh, we build him up. We get that token. And, uh, well, in our case, we get a blue stud. But we go ahead and grab this box and we'll walk it on over to the green base plate over to the far right side of the area you can see we threw it down there we get a couple of bricks out of that next up we're actually going to go and smash this little box of ice cream i don't know what that was little uh sundays popsicle something we go ahead and build up the bricks that were revealed to us into a conveyor belt control panel and then of course we go and slam down that second of those uh, ice cream sundae glasses there. We grab the box, we're gonna walk it on over and slap it down on the other green base plate. And look at that, we've got all the pieces needed to complete this weird makeshift staircase control panel here. We're gonna go ahead and spin to win. And as you might notice, look at that, here comes the stairs. We'll go ahead and use those to get on up top. We got a couple of bad guys we gotta get rid of first, but then we're gonna take out that large, I guess it's a freezer of some sorts. And behind that freezer is the third and and final ice cream sundae piece that we need to smash to get that police shield piece crest crest piece however you want to say it but uh, all right we built up all those pieces to get this giant rock here and we're gonna go ahead and rock out with our rock out that's right <laughs> we're gonna go for a little walk out with our rock out how about that and uh, let's see here. We're smashing a bunch of stuff. You don't need to smash everything, but we do this because it's a lot quicker and easier to go ahead and take out all of this debris in front of the both. Both of these kind of, uh, I guess, I don't know if they're like pictures or what they are, little murals on the wall here. And essentially there are some bricks that can be built up into some stools. So we'll come back to those in just a second. We're actually going to move this rock on over to this pad here. If you have not already changed it from red to green, do so, which is going to activate this television teleporter in the back that's right we're gonna have scotty beam us up and we're gonna go up to that upper level up above us there and we're gonna use the uh white and blue checkerboard roofing to go ahead and climb our way all the way over to the far right side now i tried to hop on the rock and then use the old space suit to get up there it does not work as you cannot just kind of stand on the rock you have to mount the rock or uh, i guess you know get into it <laughs> i don't know how to say that it's weird it's like a vehicle you got to get into it with the triangle button or the y button depending on your platform and uh, yeah, meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and make our way all the way over to that thing and grab the vehicle token for the Asesso. Is that how you say that? Aceso? 
Anyhow, we're moving along to those four stools that I told you about. Now, you might have to smash some bricks to go ahead and reveal these blocks, but look at that. We've got all four of these bad boys. Booyah, kashow! Police shield piece two is now officially ours. And we can move on. Now, next up, we got a red brick. This one's actually for extra hearts, and it requires us to change the color of three different switches. Now, if you do not have the super color gun red brick, there is a color swapper in the area here. And I do believe we give you a quick peek as to where that is. But uh, hopefully you followed our preparing for free play video and you've got the proper color ready to go and you don't have to worry about that. And let's see here. Where is it? Maybe, maybe not. I forget. I forget where the swapper is. It shows us where the red brick is, though. There's no doubt about that. We'll go ahead and collect that. And, oh, to the, yeah, we can move on to the character token number two, which happens to be Jimmy Grossman. Now, you might have noticed on the stage over here, there is an electric panel on the fritz. So we're going to put on our construction suit and bring it down. Hammer time. Whoa. All right, I'll stop. No more singing. <laughs> All right, no, for real though, I'll, I'll keep the singing to a minimum. I don't know. Some of you really enjoy it, and some of you don't. And uh, you know, this series, I've been uh, rather uh, lenient on the singing. And uh, hey, if you guys want to see more, drop us some comments down below, and uh, we can let the argument begin. Should Brian sing or not sing? And what's going on with this rock here? Why is it still spinning around? That shouldn't be going down like that. But uh, all right, if you've officially gotten all the collectibles that we have collected thus far in the video, go ahead and switch on over to your mining out fit, mine those rocks, and then actually pull out your fireman suit one more time to axe your way through that door and into Papa Lardo's office we go. So inside here we get attacked right off the bat by a couple of baddies. We go ahead and toss them down, give them the old cufferoonies, and look at that, we've got some studs flying in from all sorts of angles thanks to our uh, track studs red brick that we got on, and look at that, we're a super toss, where'd he go? I don't know. Hopefully we won't have to deal with him anymore, but oh, he is waiting for us over there in the corner so make sure you slap some cuffs on him too the super throw is pretty awesome that's another red brick that we have on and uh, ultimately you need to take out all six of these bad guys and then we're actually going to take out all eight of these chairs surrounding this big table here i don't know if it's a poker table or it looks like it's an ice cream table of sorts look at all those ice cream sundaes on the table there so we got four chairs on either side of the table we're going to smash them all once you get all eight gone look at that we've got that police crest shield piece and next up, we're going to switch on over to Farmer Joe, and you know what to do. We're going to pull out that watering can, man, and look at that. Oh, Billy, we've got ourselves a vehicle token for the Iron Back. That's a weird name. All these weird names for these vehicles. Uh, ooh, and I added a space there. I'll have to fix that. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You'll have to wait for the finished product to see if I remember to do it. Uh, anyhow, we'll follow the old blue brick road. That's right. We pull out our tracker and use the tracking ability after destroying that chair over there. That was a, a tracker point under that chair. We followed that over to the box. It gave us the key. The key opens up the left door. And ooh, it's a safe. We'll go ahead and pull out old Rex Fury and get our safe cracking on. And look at that but you can shout we've got the red brick for wow. instant safe it's cracking really i think it's called uh breaking and entering super breaking and entering i do believe and it gives us a handful of pieces to build up a large ice cream sundae which we push over to the green base plate along the checkerboard path there and it shows that we get the first of two lights on now we have the super color gun red brick on and that allows us to go ahead and blast away over on the right now there is a color swapper on the front left side of the room if you don't have the red brick but uh, look at that we've got some pieces we build up that second giant ice cream sundae and yeah i think i'm going to come over here and show you real quick where the color swapper is oh there's the tracker spot follow that and that should give you the pieces needed inside that cabinet push this bad boy all the way down though and beep boop 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 boop. we've got the second green light on and it opens the door so we'll go ahead and make our way inside there assuming you've got all the collectibles and look at that we've only got one last police shield piece it actually uh, has three parts we need to round up the first one is actually right to our right as soon as we start here it's that weird kind of green alien vacuum looking thing and cut chow it is now officially toast we've got two more though that we need to round up 
And look at here. We actually have to go flip the switch on the panel back here, which gives us this weird box that allows us to get by all these cold, chilly breezes. And once we get over to the left-hand side, we actually have to take out a few more bad guys before we can make it to that next police shield piece. Now, uh, we've got uh, two bad guys here waiting for us. And, oh, speaking of waiting for us, we've got Patreon.com slash Happy Thumbs Game and waiting for you. Uh, thanks to our Patreon supporters that have supported us so far, we've actually made uh, quite a few improvements to uh, some equipment and, uh, well, to our video overlays. We've got a new intro, new outro, and this is all due to our Patreon.com supporters. So, hey, if you want to give us a little back for helping you out, that would be greatly appreciated. But, hey, it all goes back into the pot, and uh, it should benefit all of us at some point. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy the new intro and outro. I know some of you are really uh, adamant about telling me you like the old one a lot better. And some of you are like, dude, so much better. It's quicker. It's easier. You can use those uh, end cards at the end of the videos, too. I don't know if you guys even noticed. We got a new outro as well. But, uh, hey, I was kind of talking over you. Once you get that little uh, piece, the pipe piece pushed into place and you get up on that upper left side, there is that second piece for that police shield piece number four. And the third one's actually going to be found down on the far right-hand side. So we want to switch this little wheel here, which is actually going to drain the goo from up on the high left side and put it on uh, the middle there, which actually gives us one of two green lights. So we've got half of that done, and we're going to make our way all the way over to the far right side where those new bricks just went down the conveyor belt it gives us some uh bricks look at that we've got ourselves a fan man we can write it up top and look at that there's that last weird vacuum piece there and we've got all of the collectibles for this level so pat yourselves on the back thank you very much and hey if we helped you out feel free to click that like button it certainly helps us out and get discovered on youtube i don't know youtube's algorithm is always weird it's always changing so it's hard to say if it's really helping or not but what would help for sure is if you click that subscribe button we are actually getting pretty close to a pretty awesome monument. And hey, while I'm talking about it, head on over to Facebook.com slash Happy Thumbs Gaming 2 as we have weekly contests over there. A little giveaway where you can actually earn stickers, Lego, all sorts of stuff. We've given away tons and tons of things over the years. And hopefully you've been a recipient of some of that stuff. If not, you'll never get a chance at winning any of it if you don't show up at Facebook. So, uh, oh to the yeah. We're actually uh, in the home stretch of this level here. We got one last guy that we had to take out there. And... In the middle, we got this switch, and we're going to go ahead and flip it on over. And guess what? The cutscene that it takes us to has been removed, taking us right into the final totals and Booyaka Show. We got the red brick for the extra hearts. We got all four of those police shield pieces. And hey, you know, we haven't really talked about this, but we're getting pretty close to having all of the free play done, which is going to actually kick off our free roam series. So we got a couple of character tokens. Well, actually, we got one character token, two vehicle tokens. And uh, we showed you where that other character token was. So if you didn't get it stored, Somehow you missed that. Uh, you should be able to grab that now. And booyaka show. We also got that real city hero requirement for the studage, which gives us a ghoul brick. And we got the gold brick for the police shields, too. So we are good to go. Which means that's going to wrap it up for Special Assignment 11. They all scream for ice cream. Vinny Papalardo's ice cream shop. And, uh, oh, to the, yeah, by the way, it was free play, in case you were wondering. So, hey, uh, check us out on social medias as we've been pushing that pretty hard lately. And, uh, oh, to the, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me. As always, until next time.